Next, let's talk about hand cutting and sewing the simplified mask. Now this one does not have a pocket uh, for a filter. It does have an outside and an inside, but it is just using basically the liner shape. Uh, there is no casing for an elastic or anything like that. Uh, so it won't be, it won't have a pocket for a filter. So it is um, trimmed up here just so that there's a little bit less of a gap on your, on your cheeks. We're just gonna cut this 100% quilting cotton along the lines from our paper template. Now the important thing, or helpful thing, is to place your fabric right sides together so that you only have to cut once. And that gives you all of your pieces. I have all my pieces that I need. I'm gonna trim off a little bit of this bottom. Now I have all four pieces that I need. For the simplified mask pattern, we tried to make as few seams as possible to make it really easy for you guys. It's just around the nose, a quarter inch seam allowance, Force that. Okay, so for the first seam, we're just gonna go across the front the curved edge of the mask for both the outside and the liner. And once we've done that, open them up and do right sides together. Since I do a lot of quilting, I like to make sure my seam is going that way and that way. This makes it nest a little easier. And we're just gonna go across the top and the bottom with the quarter inch seam. Just making a little adjustments as I go. But you could do that a little easier if you just pinned it first. So I'm gonna do the bottom now. sewn across the top and the bottom. So we're just going to turn it right sides out and press it so that these are more or less flat if you'd like. If you don't, you can just finger press it like I'm doing here. Then we're going to tuck these in and with whatever you're using as a tie, again, you can use ribbon, you can use bias tape, you can use t-shirt yarn, fabric, jersey, it's a little bit stretchy. That will be fit in there really nice. So I'm gonna use some of my vintage ribbon for this mask. I'm gonna use about 20 inches for the top Piece just to give me enough room to tie it. So I'm going to cut four pieces. And you can hem ribbon or can use a lighter to just melt the ends. Just melt the ends of the ribbon so that it doesn't unravel. Okay, so we're going to insert our ribbon ties. Finger pressed half an inch to a quarter an inch. In. We're going to place those ribbons here. The nice thing is we'll be stitching in the ribbons at the same time that we're closing this side. So it makes it pretty simple. And if you were using t-shirt yarn or bias tape, you would basically do it exactly the same way. You just insert it at this point. And back stitch over the ribbon part. basically it. You can top stitch if you want all the way around, but it's really not necessary. And you have a finished mask. It's basically reversible. Just make sure you wash it in between using it. Don't use the exposed side immediately. 